Yo, what is good guys, it's Cryptic TMG. I'm back with a brand new video. And as I promised yesterday in my live stream that I would be dropping the Bentley setup for Kialami. And I actually did a justice setup because of, pretty much because of my first stint yesterday, man. It kind of threw me off a little bit. So I didn't want to give out the same setup that I struggled with. So I've actually adjusted it, made myself a little bit more comfortable. Now this is a hot lap, but you can use it for race conditions as well because it is pretty stable. And um, yeah, I just felt a lot better in the car um, testing it today. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy the setup. Obviously, um, I'm going to try and do this every week. So every week after we have a race, I'm going to try and drop the setup the day after. Hopefully, I'll give you guys enough time to get used to it. Um, but yeah, if you guys are in the Bentley and you're looking for a Kialami setup, and especially if you're an Airwire, man, try this out because everything's going to be set for Airwire conditions, man. So yeah, Cryptic TNG, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace. So coming over here to the timer screens, I just wanted to quickly show you guys that I, I didn't actually maximize my lap, only set a purple sector in the last sector, which wasn't great. I actually ran wide at the third to last corner, didn't quite get hooked up into the apex. You can see on some of my other laps, I've 
I've gone like, you know a tenth and a half quicker through the middle of 39.5 as opposed to a 39.7 which I did so there's definitely more time in the lap I believe between a 40.1 40.2 um, and yeah you should be able to get some serious time out of the Bentley with this man and I, I really try to focus on making the car a little bit more stable in certain areas but hope you guys do enjoy the setup I'm going to show you guys the setup on screen now so um, let's have a look so as I said tire pressures are all good um, the only thing I would have to adjust about the tire pressure because this is a qualifying setup is for the race I actually opened up the front brake that's a little bit so you probably go up one click on the front tire pressures um, for, for PS4 up if I remember rightly the brakes are a little bit more fragile so I actually went with 4 ABS and I was using 4 ABS myself for that lap there I actually went a lot more rearwards on the brake bias because later on in the race that you tend to tended to lock up quite a lot in the race itself so i went i went backwards on the on the rear brake bias and yeah it felt a lot better to me it felt as if i could get the, the nose into corners and it should help you in the race as i said before i was locking up loads in the race and i wasn't really able to adjust it because every time i did the car tried to kill me so the adjustments that i made are pretty good i did actually switch around the dampers quite a lot man um made it a little more stiffer at the rear i put the front bump up as well and um, I just felt like I had a little bit more rotation in the car without me having to sort of run as much rake as I was running. And um, yeah, car felt pretty good, man. And it was all about sort of finding that balancing act. There was a few corners on the on the track uh, yesterday that I was sort of struggling with and the car wouldn't rotate. So I'd, you know, almost force it to rotate. And then that's when I was getting the, you know, the, the sketchy moment. So as I said, I went down the rear ride height by a few clicks and I actually went to nine rear wing. And uh, yeah, the car felt pretty nice, man. And not too many, not too many sideways moments as I was um, trialing this setup. As I said before, I did put the brake ducts up for the race because there is quite a few heavy braking spots, and you don't, you know, you don't want to kill your tires like what I did. Even though I did run four brake bias at the front, um, not brake bias, four brake ducts at the front in the race, um, I, I pretty much killed my tires in the first stint, probably because I had the spin. Um, as I said before, just go up on the PSI's by one click, and you should be all good with the uh, with the uh, brake ducts on four at the front. But um, other than that, guys, yeah, man, it's a pretty good setup. It felt pretty good. I hope you guys do enjoy the setup. Anyway, it's Cryptic TNG. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace.